So friends, we are doing post-operative rounds for a patient in whom we have done laparoscopic uterovaginal anastomosis for something called a cervical atresia. That means the mouth of the uterus was choked up, blocked since birth. She underwent one surgery in the past where the problem could not be corrected and that is what happens at most of the places. In order to do this surgery nicely, we need to do something called as trachelectomy. That means chop off that entire cervix and the lower part of the uterus is to be then sutured with the vagina. It takes some amount of expertise. I guess as a referral unit for Mulleran anomalies and endometriosis in India, we have done the maximum number of laparoscopic uterovaginal anastomosis across the country. She is our 51st patient for the same. We must also understand, after we do this, the patient will start getting menses. She will start getting periods like any other normal lady. But because that cervix was blocked as a backflow mechanism, it can cause severe endometriosis. She had severe endometriosis and we had to remove both her fallopian tubes. Once the fallopian tubes are removed, patients like her will always end up with IVF. Okay, We have had so far around nine pregnancies after IVF in patients like her and all of them have to deliver by cesarean section. One more important thing. It is just 24 hours post-surgery. She's going home, no bed rest, no diet changes, no leave from work. She has come from Karnatak, so she can travel back to Karnatak in a whatever mode of transport she wants to do, train, air, bus, car, whatever. Everything is allowed. After she goes home, remember, we have kept a catheter inside the uterus in order to keep it open. This catheter will fall off on its own after approximately six to eight weeks. She's a very smart girl. She's going to maintain follow up with us till she becomes pregnant. We will allow her to try for conception after one year of doing this surgery.